Welcome, I'm from a Sony Xperia 5 Mark II and today I'll show you how to set up the device. Now when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with the welcoming screen as you can see right now and from here simply select the language that you wish to use. Now I'm gonna stick with English but as you can see once you tap on the drop down you have a plethora of other languages you can choose from. So let's tap on the get started and from here obviously we need to agree to terms and services so uh, i'm aware of the important information warranty safety etc uh, it looks like we have to select this um i'm aware of the data charge uh, my apply cool and the last option is optional so you don't actually have to select it from there let's tap on accept and on the next page we can insert our sim card and this step is completely optional. If you don't have a SIM card or you don't want to insert it right now, you can completely skip it and do it later on. Uh, the only downside of doing it later, uh, I believe, I'm not even sure if this applies right here, is when you take out the tray and put a SIM card in, the phone reboots. Uh, that is after the setup. I'm not sure if this applies during the setup. But I'm gonna skip it anyway right here. And I don't have connect to Wi-Fi, so we can either set it up offline, which will allow us to skip uh, connecting to Wi-Fi and also in turn uh, remove the option to log in to our Google account throughout the setup but still after the setup you can go through settings and do both of those things anyway so I'm gonna set it up in offline just to save a little bit on time and from here we have date and time settings so uh, the time zone for me is correct uh, date uh, well it's not it is, what is it, like September 10th? Let's see. Actually, no, it's not September, it's October or November. Geez, time flies. So yeah, it's November 10th. So let's November uh, 10, there we go. And let's confirm that. And time is also incorrect. So you can change it to, what is it? Almost 11, 10, 50. Here, there we go so that is how we would set it up manually uh, i believe if you connect to wi-fi at the time will be set automatically so you don't actually have to fiddle with it uh, but because i chose to skip it i would have to well as you've seen i had to set it up then on the next page we have google services so we have things like location scanning and send user and diagnostic data so you can tap, tap on the drop down uh, read the actual description on what it does and if you don't like it simply check it off now when it comes down to location and scanning location uses GPS tracking for things like Google Maps as an example so you have a accurate uh, route and you can use the device as a GPS navigation without it um, Google Maps will not know where you're positioned uh, while well, scanning is used just to look for things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth devices and stuff like that. And then send user and diagnostic data, uh, gathers data on how you use the device, sends it to Google. So if you don't want it, you can also check that off. And from there, once you go all the way down, you can tap on the accept. And the next page is set a screen lock. Now it looks like by default it opts into a four digit pin, but you can tap on screen lock options and change it to a pattern or password along with well, having the pin as well. I'm gonna go with the pattern. So once you select one of them, it automatically changes. And what you need to do for me, it's draw the pattern, tap on next, redraw the same pattern and confirm. And that will automatically set it up. Now by default, it also proceeds further. So it wants you to add a fingerprint, which uh, I'm feeling adventurous. Let's add a fingerprint right here. So as you uh, can see, this is the power key. So all I need to do is start tapping on the power key. Now I'm using my index finger, uh, but thumb would be probably better, uh, considering when you're holding the phone, you're gonna be unlocking it with your, f uh, with your thumb instead of your index. There we go. So we have added a fingerprint, let's tap on next. Uh, continue setup, yep, continue. Anything else? Um, control in for on lock screen you can change here uh, how notifications are displayed on your lock screen when the device is locked 
Uh, so if you want to show them, you can show them, and if you want to hide them so people that will try to just see what kind of notifications you get won't be able to see it. So basically the first one shows you notifications while the two other ones uh, either display that you get a notification from a specific app but don't display the content or just flat out don't show any kind of notifications. So whichever one you want, just select it. And let's finish it set up now. And there we go, that's the setup. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.